Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Star Wars The Old Republic. So, last time we left off making it right to Tatooine. We have not done anything else. Uh, so, one thing I do want to do is go ahead and send these guys out. Just to level up some of our gear, maybe try to get some of this other armor, we shall see. So we did finally hit grade 2 last time, let's continue on that. Not going to talk to that guy, um, we're just going to do the story, and that is it. So hopefully we can uh, knock out this planet pretty quick. We'll just see what happens. So my internet has been a little bit crazy today, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's a, actually the internet or if it's uh, the game I was playing. So I got a... Uh, Started playing Elder Scrolls Online again, and uh, bought the Morrowind upgrade, which came out today. Uh, this is a video, uh, so yeah, I'm uh, recording this on Tuesday, and you probably won't see it until Wednesday, but, so it came out today while I'm recording, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, yeah, so, uh, I don't know if it's my internet that's been going in, in and out, or it's probably just the, uh, servers on Morrowind that have been kind of crazy. There's been a ton of people playing that game, so, definitely noticed some server lag and, and that sort of thing, but it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, I've never made it very far in Elder Scrolls Online. Made it to like level 28 and then gave up just because I had nobody to play with. Uh, MMOs are a lot more fun if you're playing with other people, unless you're doing something like this and you're just blasting through the story. Then it's uh, then it's all right, doesn't get too boring, at least for me. So, yeah, I may uh, may replace. Star Wars with Elder Scrolls at some point. I don't know. Maybe once we're finished with this series, we'll s we'll just see what happens. So let's uh, let's talk to this guy. The world is weeping, and the tears evaporate in the heat of our sins. I think you mean from the heat of our suns, Isabeau. No, child. There is a dark presence, newly arrived on Tatooine. Ah, Sith. You made it. The hostels outside were no match for you, I see. Let's just get down to business. To do the business you are about, one must indeed sink very low. You are the seeker Sharak spoke of. You wish to understand the Jedi's purpose in the lair of the Sand Demon. I'm used to getting what I want. The spoiled child often becomes lazy. Please, Isabeau, make haste. Tell my friend what you know. I will remain here after to hear your wisdom. Fine. Gather close. Few are aware that Tatooine was once a place of positive force energy. Jedi made pilgrimages here to renew and purify. The sands speak of a ritual called the Demon's Blood. This is likely what the Jedi that Sharak witnessed was engaged in. I don't want suspicions. I want facts. Everything is fiction. Shaped by the teller's perspective. The demon's blood. A Jedi seeking enlightenment would cover himself in fresh sand demon blood and enter the village of the Savage Ones. Cowering before the demon slayer, 
the Savage Ones would reveal the path to self-discovery and to that which the Slayer seeks. According to Sharak, the Padawan did not slay the beast. There must be another way to bathe in the beast's blood. But you'll have to discover that for yourself, if you care to. To know where this Jedi girl went, you'll have to perform the ritual yourself, and then see if the Savage Ones speak. If I don't find satisfaction, it will be your blood I bathe in. Satisfaction of any kind in the Tatooine Desert is likely an illusion. Here are the coordinates you will need. After you face the Sand Demon, I will meet you at the Sand People compound. If the legend is true, and the Sand People have something to offer you, I wish to see it with my own eyes. Alright. So... Gotta go find this beast and make it through the Tatooine Desert. Oop. What am I stuck on? <laughs> Invisible things are pulling me. Not cool. Really? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Well, this is not cool. I guess I am quick traveling out of here. <laughs> That's my only option. So I cannot move. That's always fun. Running into invisible walls and get sucked into a hole of nothing. At your service, my lord. Route is confirmed. All right. So I'll just take this little taxi or speeder, whatever, and head further into the desert. So we. Well, this is the main map. So we'll come up like right here, and then I believe that's a cave we're gonna run through can't quite remember once we uh, once we do that we'll we'll be fine hopefully we can maybe knock out two parts Let's see if we can knock out two parts of the planet today depending on time luckily we have a speeder so I played this uh Played this when it first came out, and you had to wait till level 25. I think it was level 25 before you could get a speeder, and that was awful. It took days to finish planets. Uh, right, you were kind of be sitting around 25 to 30 at this point. Let's see if we can navigate through here without pulling anybody. Cool. Whoop. Yeah, I'm going the right way. But yeah, I mean you just, you just have to run through this desert and <laughs> That's all you could do. And then they started giving subscribers the option for level 10. Well, I think it went down to 15 at first and then down to 10. I can't remember. I've been in and out of this game quite a bit. So, but I am fully caught up with all the stories, all the content, so... See if there's anything we can drop off. Don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. <laughs> uh, it's the same thing we have. Have we already done the reverse engineer? 
first. I don't know, but there's another one if if not. Cool, so we got that. Let's compact these and move on. Come on. So we got a little ways yet. Slowly getting there. <laughs> Alright, let's find this uh, sand demon. Oh, alright. Come on. Pick it up. He actually uh, took a little damage there. Alright, down to 61. So, I was uh, talking about the percentage there. I've got percentages on my bar. So... Sitting right at 65. So let's see. Uh, let's see if we can take two more of these guys for the bonus. Oh, okay. Pick it up. They always just run away. <laughs> That's all they do. They go towards a vet. Alright, there's the sand demon there. So, oh, leveled up our legacy. Let's go ahead and heal. We're right, right at half. We'll do this. Make this dude angry. Ancient sand demons in the far corner of the. Yep, I missed it. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we talk for a second? I really don't have a good feeling about this. You know, it's it's vet, so. Uh. Yeah, I mean we've we've we're gonna have kind of a soft spot for vet. I'll make you feel better later. Oof. Uh, we're about to face a monster that can swallow us whole. I'm thinking if the Jedi perform the demon blood ritual without a fight, there must be a way we can too. As a favor to me, could we please get through this without mixing it up with the sand demon? Hmm. You know, if if we have a soft spot for vet, then I mean we kind of have to have to go with what she wants, right? I don't know. Otherwise, I would say no way, but she will probably be disappointed. So we're gonna say that is my intention. I was already planning on doing that. Oh, good. That's a relief. Looks like it's showtime. The monsters caught a whiff of us. I'm ready to back you up if it goes badly. Yeah, that's what I want to do, but a vet. Uh, We'll just stand up to it, right? Desert monster, I stand my ground. I will not run. I 
I'm gonna stare you down, fool. Look into my eyes, beast. I uh I kinda wanna pet the dude. <laughs> uh you know what? We're gonna do it. You are now my pet. Oh, okay. Well, that was a that was a mistake. I don't know why Vet disapproved though. I thought that was a good action. Apparently not. Ooh, that's hurt. Yeah, well, she's not really hurt, but her health was kind of low. Examine the sand demon. Oh, yuck! So much blood. If I knew we were gonna literally bathe in it, I would have waited outside. And the smell. Oh, Kag, we're gonna stink for days. What if it never wears off? <laughs> And you'll be extra annoying. It will be all right, Vet. I sure hope you're right. I take a lot of pride in my hygiene. So, let's get out of the stink pit, huh? <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. Lead the way. Yeah, just because I'm nice to Vet doesn't mean anything, really. Because everything else I do, she disapproves of. So, just when it comes to things she asks or. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna run out here, we're gonna follow or trail the Padawan's movement. So where are we headed? Straight across the field. So oh okay. It's just another cave. So we'll make our way over here. So depending on where the next mission is after this one, we might be able to squeeze in two missions. Yeah, so the other one's just right over here in this cave. Shouldn't take us all that long. So I know these guys are back. We'll send him out again. Send him. Let's get some companion gifts. If you think that's the best use of me. So I have no idea why these sand people won't attack. Probably because we're bathed in the this guy's blood. I don't. Yeah, they're all running now. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. I have a feeling we're about to find out. Search for clues. What do we get? I trailed and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. The sand people all ran from you. What transpired inside the sand demon cave that makes this so? It was an epic battle, and I killed the beast. You have bathed in the demon's blood. Its essence fills the air. Now, Isabeau said that this is where your path will be illuminated. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the sand people approaches. Mm. 
Yep, I'm a Sith, so, you know. Vet didn't tell me not to. Enough of this. But she doesn't like it. <laughs> it didn't even attempt to defend itself. I've never seen one of its kind be so passive. This parchment the sand person brought is remarkable. It is a crude but very clear map of the desert. It marks a door carved into the wall of the Desert Wound Ravine. But I've mapped this ravine and there is no such door. If this is where the Padawan went, I must follow. I shudder to think what awaits you there. The ravine marks the farthest I or anyone I know of has dared venture. Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealthed using the dune's shadows. Just stay out of my way. <laughs> I am not much use in hand-to-hand -hand combat anyway. Darth Barris enlisted my services to be scout and lookout, and I intend to do my job. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the Desert Wound Ravine. Safe journey. Alright. Let's see anything good. Yeah. It's alright, I'll take it. So we got that. I never put that one on either. So cool. Couple of upgrades. And so we gotta go over there. Let's quick travel back here. Hopefully there's a taxi a little bit closer to this next one. That way we don't have to waste any time doing some traveling on foot or by speeder, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, let's check the speeder. This should be pretty close. Should be about right here. Then we can go the rest of the way on our uh, well, yeah, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> I guess you can just call them mounts. I guess they're mounts in this game, too. Let's get up there. So, where are we going? Man, it looks like it's up there. If it is, that's going to suck. Okay, cool. It's in a cave. <laughs> mounts are not allowed here. So I guess they are called mounts. I need to check some. That sounded pretty loud. Well, I guess not. Okay. I guess I've just got my headset volume louder than I normally have it. Yeah, so... Definitely next planet we'll uh, start doing the rest of the missions because I'm starting to take a little bit more damage than normal. But that's okay. Definitely survivable with Vet. So we've got 7 out of 20 for the bonus. Put me to sleep. You punk. Hey. Alright. Oh, I just killed two people. What? Why did it only give me one kill? Yeah, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Ooh. 
Big frame rate drop for some reason. What is going on? Let me check my frames. Um Ugh. That is awful. That that right there tells you how bad my computer is. Twenty six frames a second. And that's on the lowest settings possible. <laughs> oh. And that's out of combat too. I'm gonna leave it going for just a second. See what it drops to. Take this guy out. Oh, yeah, it dropped to 18 there for a second. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hello. Ooh, down to 37. There's a, yep, 37% health. Uh, I know why I'm getting frame rate drops. Alright. That would be because of my fan. <laughs> my computer fan does not work as well as it used to. And so I have a cooling fan underneath that I forgot to turn on. Maybe uh, we'll give it a little bit of time and that should help. Vet Unchained. I don't know what that one was. Oh, oh punk. I shall choke you to death. Oh, this guy's going to get us. Yep. So what did we just pick up? Ooh, 19 mastery. Nice. You know what? Let's use the field stem. Gain moderate influence with her. Another moderate influence. Maybe a little Thanks. offset some of the uh, negative things that she's disapproved. That's what you do with women, right? You just give them things and they'll like you again. No, that doesn't work that way. Uh, I did not say that. <laughs> My wife doesn't watch my videos, so we're good. So we're in an instance we're hitting about fifty. This is either a mirage or a trap set by a nasty underwater monster. Or both. Yeah, probably both. lost your way, Dark One, but I have come to correct your course. I am the embodiment of your greatest potential. I am what you could be if you overcame your fear and walked in the light. Impossible. You're trying to trick me. Only someone riddled with fear lies to himself. The light eliminates the need for such fear. Let me prove that I am you. We hunt Noman Kar's Padawan who can see the true nature of anyone. Our master, Darth Barris, fears that this girl will expose his network of spies and bring about his demise. You know too much. I have to silence you. The fear of exposure marks you and Barris as weak. 
It is the rot of the dark side. If you persist down this path, your life will be consumed by paranoia and fear. The trail will wait around every corner. You will never know whom to trust. I like it that way, but you might like the alternative better. You see, the dark side seeks to subjugate the Force. It treats the Force as an adversary to be used and manipulated. When you embrace the light, you meld with the Force, become part of it. Then true clarity and peace can be achieved. Don't make me laugh. Don't scoff, Dark One. Look at our master. If the dark is so potent, why is Darth Barriss deathly afraid of a young girl? Noman Kar's Padawan is merely a nascent champion of the light, and already she strikes fear into the heart of a dark side master. That's why I'm going to destroy her. If you refuse the light, you must strike me down. Do you have it in you to kill part of yourself? I will eradicate all lightness in the galaxy. Come then, take me on. You will discover the light inside you cannot be vanquished. I'm choking a reflection. <laughs> oh, that was uh, pretty easy. Proven your way is strong and viable. With this victory, our essence has been purified. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Tell me more of this. There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the Great Master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yonlock beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? That is my understanding. I am chilled to the bone. The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that no one can survive. No one! Even the Sand People dare not go. You mustn't go! The opposite is true. I must. This is not some silly superstition! Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. I needn't waste any more time with a coward. How that word burns me. I will return to your spaceport and update Darth Barris. All right, so anything good? Yeah, one thing, cool. So let's make our way back out of the cave. And then we shall. Yeah, I could have done it right there. I don't know why I ran. Uh, so we'll go ahead and quick travel out of here. We'll hit the taxi and head off to our next 
And final mission of Tatooine. So man, we got we got through Tatooine. We're gonna get through Tatooine pretty quick. So man, that, that frame rate. <laughs> Sixteen. Wow. Cool. So we are heading up here. How far? I didn't even. S I didn't get to see where it was. It's probably like right there, ish, maybe. Nope. Uh, much, much closer than that. So cool. Let's get rid of junk, repair our stuff, get rid of some of this that we don't need, compact the rest. Awesome. So, guys, before we head any further, we are going to go ahead and call that an episode there. Uh, next time we will finish up Tatooine and move on to, I believe it's Alderaan. Yep, head over to Alderaan, which, man, Alderaan is a big planet too. I don't know if I want to do all those. So actually next time we may just go run through a bunch of heroics and level up that way. We'll just see. We'll see what happens. So, uh, once again, guys, if you like the video, leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.